If you want to start making money right away, you're gonna need to put in some money into your business. Now, the really important thing is putting it in the right areas. So where are you gonna get the most return on your investment? Where are you gonna put your money that's gonna actually give you, yield you a return? We need to know with, with you as an agent what you're willing to do in terms of marketing and what you're not willing to do because that's gonna tell me what I'm gonna recommend that you spend your money on. And you do not wanna spend thousands of dollars on some of these websites right off the bat. I'm not even saying that. What I'm saying is you're gonna to have to invest in yourself to get a return, but you need somebody like me to invest your money in a way that's gonna give you the optimum return on investment. So I have a formula that I use, and I'll share it with all of my agents. How much do you spend on marketing when you're first starting, and then how much do you spend per closing? It's really important that you have an initial amount that you spend, and, and it really will be tailored to every single agent individually. But there's a percentage that you should spend on your marketing from your paycheck, and it's gonna vary. So it's gonna be more when you're first starting out, and it's gonna be a little bit less when you're doing more volume. But that is the most important thing that a lot of agents miss, is reinvesting the money into the company and investing in the correct things. So when you first start out, if you don't have a lot of money, you can, you can do some sweat equity. And there are some great things that agents can do. Most agents are not willing to do them. Some agents thrive doing that. So depending on the agent that you are, we can find out which things, sweat equity wise or not, you're willing to do. There's a whole bunch of different marketing avenues that real estate agents can do. You have internet marketing, you have social media, you have print, you have farming, and you have direct mail. Which of those things you're gonna do, where you're at at the level of your business, really depends on you as the agent. A lot of agents will put a whole bunch of money into a form of marketing initially, and after a certain period of time, they will stop that. And that's one of the reasons why they're not effective in their marketing is because they quit too soon or they go too long and there's no return on investment. So it's very important to sit down and see if you have gone long enough or if you're approaching too long of a time frame to get a return on investment. But a lot of agents either put too much and walk away too soon or they put too much for too long and there's no return.